Want to know how to make your favorite noodle dishes with curry? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make curry udon noodles. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ty Pham, and I help the modern Asian American guy become more confident, outgoing, and athletic. And I do a lot of videos on training. I do a lot of cooking videos. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make curry udon noodles. This has been one of my favorite things to eat this week, and I want to show you guys how to make it, and it's super, super simple. Now, if you know anything about noodle dishes, it doesn't have a lot of protein. In fact, it has a lot of carbs, and if you are on a cut or you're trying to build muscle, you're trying to increase the amount of protein that you have every single meal. Now, in this recipe, I'm going to show you guys how to make it more protein-packed, have at least 40 to 50 grams of protein, and have a little bit higher in carbs. Now, this dish is more savory, it's tasty, and this is going to be a great meal to have every single single day and it's super super simple so let me show you how to make that disclaimer i'm not gonna make this curry from scratch i'm actually gonna use this packet right here this is the the goat of curry all right so don't hate me just a disclaimer this is gonna be an instant curry noodle dish this recipe is stupid easy so all you need is one whole onion dice it up get some cubes going on as well as some green onion so you're gonna dice this up as fine as you can you're gonna use a white part of the onion as well so keep that don't throw it away that's where all the flavor is for the protein i am using butcher boxes pork butt and i'm gonna do a review on this very very soon i'm actually getting another packet coming in in the next week or so so what i'm doing is trimming off the fat because there's a lot of fat on this pork and i'm gonna dice this up into thin slices and then we're gonna chop that up into cubes so it's easy to eat in every single bite you have in this bowl now for the noodles, I'm using this premium udon, instant udon noodle soup that is super easy. You can get this at Costco, I think, for like $5 or $6. I got this in a whole container. Take all the seasons out. You got the soy sauce, you got the dried onions and like garnishes. Put your noodles in a bowl. You want to heat this up and let this cook for around four minutes until it's nice and soft and broken away. So we're going to set the noodles to the side and then we're going to start actually cooking or shit. All right, we're going to render all the pork fat and use that as the oil base. So once all the oil is coming out of that pork fat, you're going to put in the rest of your pork butt, pork shoulder in there, and it's going to render out some fat as well. So just cook this down until it gets nice and brown. And with the seasonings, I'm going to use some black pepper. I'm going to use some sweetener, some sugar. This is monk fruit sweetener that you can get at any grocery store. Stir that around. Get some nice color on that. I also forgot to put some salt. So make sure you salt your food, taste your food so you know your salt levels and if you need to adjust any of your seasoning. So what I'm doing is I'm actually weighing out all my pork shoulder so I know exactly how much protein goes into this dish. And I'm going to do the whole macro breakdown at the end of the video. So we're going to get our pan back, our wok hot, and get our oil in and put in our onion. So we're just going to use the white onion into the wok, stir that around to get some nice color make sure that it's translucent but not too cooked all the way through and then season it with salt always season your food with salt and pepper put in our noodles that are already cooked it just needs to be reheated and broken down and gain to nice chunks of udon nice strains of udon so that's easy to eat now that everything is all cooked the way through we're going to put in back our pork shoulder so that around heat that up for just a few seconds we're gonna add a little bit of water just to coat the top of the whole dish so that we can season it with our curry. So what I'm gonna be using is this golden curry, I guess, mixture. And this is super, super easy. It's like one of the best flavored uh, curries that you'll ever get. And it's super easy. So we're just gonna drop that in, let that cook and let it soak up all the flavor into the soup. Stir that around for a couple minutes and it should be ready to go. We're gonna add our soy sauce just to give it more saltiness as well as the dehydrated vegetables. It's not too much, just to give it more flavor and just some more depth to it. Make sure you taste your soup. If you need to add more salt, add more salt or more sugar, but it should be good to go after you add in that curry mixture. And then we're gonna add a little bit of the cornstarch just to thicken up the soup and it's ready to go.
And this dish was super, super easy to make, tasting the broth right now, and it's fucking amazing. Two thumbs up for this dish with the noodles and the pork. Oh my god, this is like one of the best noodle dishes I've ever made. Super simple, it's literally gonna take you like 10 minutes to make once you prep everything. And if you like this video, make sure you like the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.